DJI FPV combo is on the market. As a hobbyist, would it be on my shopping list? That's what we are going to see in this video. I really appreciate the fact that DJI has taken another step into FPV as many of the DJI customers would now know what FPV actually is. I have done a little bit of research about the product and uh, here is what I have concluded. The DJI FPV drone is a well engineered product, no doubt about it. But the same I doubt about the goggles and the controller. There isn't much performance upgrade on the V2 goggles compared to V1 goggles and uh, about the controller when I first saw I was literally thinking what is TBS Tango 2 doing here. People are not very much happy about the goggles I would say. What I think is DJI should have addressed the light leakage problem on their goggles. Main thing about DJI is that they are mostly compatible with DJI systems only. You see, Android is an open source operating system and iOS on the other hand is a closed source. Similarly, DJI is like the iOS of the drone market and the other analog systems are like Android of the FPV market. I am a hobbyist and always like to tweak around things so definitely I am not personally interested in DJI products. What I actually think is that the DJI FPV is definitely not for the hobbies and their targeted users are the ones who think like Hey man, I like flying stuff in here and I don't have the time spending hours on building stuff and learning new things. Here's the money, go buy me something nice on the market. If you think like that, then definitely you might have already bought the DJI FPV combo. In the starting of the video, I said the DJI FPV drone is well engineered product. Yes, of course it is. And the problem with well engineered product is that you wouldn't want to break that. And DJI FPV drone is not designed to withstand a crash. See, FPV is like learning to ride a bicycle. And while learning to ride, you are going to fall. That's unavoidable. If you are trying to do a wheelie perfectly, then you would be falling from the bike more often and then you would be learning about the sweet spot to do it perfectly. The point I am trying to convey is that you would be learning FPV by breaking your quad many times and repairing it yourself. And the DJ FPV is not designed for that. Thus, I am sure that it's not for beginners it may be true that anyone who cannot fly quads will be able to fly the dji fpv drone but are you really learning fpv is the question to sum it all up as a hobbyist it's not a drone for me and would probably never be on my shopping list dji fpv is a higher weight drone with smaller props so definitely the performance is going to be less than that of a normal FPV drone. Also there's no carbon fiber in the drone and it's made of plastic. So probably it's not designed for crashing. It does have a bunch of fancy modes and fancy operations inside them like uh, obstacle detection and uh, return to home and the gimbal that is always going to align you to the horizon. As a whole, what I think is that it's a nice and fancy drone for fancy people I guess. I think that's it for this video guys. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Take care. Hey buddy, you are not said anything about the motion controller. What about that? Didn't I already mention about being fancy? So I did that. Fancy people decide for themselves.